immediately following the verse from yesterday in Jesus' healing and now his confrontation with um, the scribes and Pharisees. And, um, you know, what you see here is Jesus describing that he's the, the, the son of the Father, uh, that he's one with the Father. He's, everything he's talking about describes the, the intimacy that he has with the Father. And he says, my father is at work until now, so I am at work. And, you know, the work, we talked about this a little bit this weekend, uh, the Sunday Mass of the, um, God's work, his work in sending the Son, uh, his, Jesus' work on the cross. The way the church talks about the liturgy is that the, the liturgy is a work, Jesus' work, the Holy Spirit's work you know and it posed the question i've been praying with it um, the reason why i posed it on sunday is i've just been praying with it more and more is am i am, am i allowing god to work for me do i allow him to work for me um you know and you know the re response and, and prayer that you know is in just the realization when i get anxious you know and, I, and then i'm um, I'm, I bring that to the Lord, the, the anxiousness. It's always, it, it's always the same thing. I'm not, I'm not allowing God to work. Like it's, it's, it's me. It's, it's, I'm the focus. I'm, I'm not allowing him to work, which is really crazy when you think about it. Um, I mean, listen, Jesus goes on after the, the, the Pharisees, you know, rebuke him. Jesus answered and said, Amen, amen, I say to you, the son cannot do anything on his own. Like, that's Jesus saying this. Jesus is saying he can't do anything on his own apart from the Father. And yet, we, I, oftentimes are in this spot of, like, on my own. Do we... Oh, do we, like, how, how often do I stray from the mindset that I can't do anything on my own? And practically, practically in the life, like, like little things about what to do today. Am I asking, Lord, what do you, what do you, do you want me to do this? Do you want me to give this talk next month here? Do you want me to, you know, and then the very last verse that we heard, again, Jesus reiter he re reiterates it. says, I cannot do anything on my own. I judge, as, I judge as I hear, and my judgment is just, because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And we, we have this amazing propensity, I think, to, to do our will, to seek our will. I mean, remember, what do we pray? The, the Our Father. Your will be done. We, we, we need to continue to ask the Lord for help to follow his will, which is, which is also the surrender. If, you, if you're doing the, the Hallow app, uh, this week is all about surrender, surrendering to him. Yeah, the, the little reading from Imitation of Christ today, Thomas Akempis, I just want to read just a, a couple of sentences. He says this, always and at every moment in little things as also in great, I make no exceptions, but in everything I would like to find you divested of self. For how can you be mine and I yours unless you are both interiorly and exteriorly devoid of all self-will? The sooner you put this into effect, the better, the better it will be for you. The more fully and sincerely you do it, the more you will please me and the more you will gain. What do we gain? Like, what does it mean? You will gain what? Everything. Peace of soul. Direction. Just, just our, 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 our soul being at rest and at peace. And so for us today, for me today, it is, it is help, like, help me, Lord, throughout this day, be in the spot of that I really live in the spot I can't do 
anything apart from you. Jesus, it is true for Jesus. It is true for us. I cannot do anything apart from you. What does that lead to? It leads to intimacy with the Father and the Son and the Spirit. It leads to us making a move of surrender, right? A surrender of ourselves, surrender of our particular circumstances right now that's like just pressing up upon us a particular circumstance. Have I surrendered it to him? Have I completely surrendered it to him? And again, the result is like, okay, I'm now living in the spot where the Lord's working for me. And, it, and the result is a piece of, piece of soul.